Wonderful opening stand between David Warner and Chris Rogers has entertained a good crowd here at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Now a BWS celebrating the people behind the scenes during our tea break. And today we're going to celebrate the Channel 9Q crew that is can, can you see out there you can just see the sydney creek ground well this is the tunnel that leads into the bowels of the newly developed uh, stand here and it's quite dramatic because this is where the television operation takes place all these trucks behind me signify dis different aspects of uh, of our production i'm going to walk you down and increasingly i hope tell you a little bit about it we've got 105 people working on the ground here and 10 back at tcn we've got and i've listed a few things 38 cameras seven tapes seven audio two directors two vision switchers four producers two editors lighting specialists we've got runners we've got social media here makeup we've got nine ten commentators needing makeup and they need it um, we've got hotspot we've got eagle eye we've got speed gun this is a very big production give you some idea have a look at this here 12 miles of cable run around this cricket ground inside here i'll take you to the director in a minute because he's a really interesting guy but while we're passing come in here to to meet the guys of, of hotspot and snicko and and down here eagle eye we'll just come first to warren who's the king of king of hotspot um tell us a bit about what you've got going uh at this um cricket match we've got um four hotspots two front on and two side on as well as Snicko, which records three super slow-mo cameras and two stump mics. Okay, so it's technical, it's difficult, and when it comes to the television screens at home, it's a good effort. Now we come to Dick here and, 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 and the, the boys with Eagle Eye, that is one of the great innovations. Yeah, so we've got four high-speed cameras over here that Reese is controlling. Uh, they are going at 230 frames a second. So they track the ball, which comes down and then we come over to my screen and this will be given to the director and this will be uh, going out to the... We've had a pretty easy day today, that's about the only shot we've had so we can see we're easily pitched outside leg and, and we'll give that to the director and he'll deal with it how he want, wants. When a bit of LBW controversy comes, it's because of you, is it? Very much so, yeah. Thanks for that. <laughs> uh, you're doing a good job. All right, so that's a few people in here and it's, as I say, just a small part of what we do. Um, Joe on the camera does a good job. We've got uh, other operations here and here, technical, um, social media, as I said. Let's go up, though, and meet uh, the director and sound in their sound. Joe runs sound. Very complicated because we all speak at different levels. We have very different voices. We have to make sure the stump mic is on and off at the right times and sometimes we know about wrong moments with stump mics. So that's a complicated operation in that little eerie that is Joe's. Then we walk in here into the real hub of the operation. We've got editors at work up here. This is Libero, the, the two and three dimensional aspect of our coverage right here. Then we come to uh, the, the DAs who, who work on simple things that may seem easy but aren't like getting our timings right getting in and out of ad breaks getting our promos right getting our sales right and then down here to um, the key man the vision switches and then this is Rob Sherlock the director of Channel 9's production he's been in the hot seat for a long time and Rob <laughs> you've got an awful lot of cameras to choose from up there yeah there's a lot of them there's about when you get over 50 monitors you stop counting because it's too scary but I think it's about 80 or 85 or something here and you've got a program monitor dead centre. To the right of it, PVW, I guess that's preview, is it? Yeah, preview, and uh, we can preview whatever we want to, whatever I want to see in advance, so when it gets to here, it's the right choice. And how do you make the right choice from all the options you've got out there? Well, I'm just really good, no. Um, <laughs> no. Um, you've just got to know where to look, basically. It's like, I guess it's like, you, you look at a 747 flying the, as the captain, how do you look at all those things? You only look at the ones you want to look at at the time. But it's a 360 game, so you've really got to know your batsmen and your bowlers. You've got to know where Dave Warner's likely to hit it. You've got to have something in mind. You've got to think ahead. You never can get behind the game, otherwise you're gone. OK, Rob. I'm, I'm not going to finish tea here, because I'm going to come back to you, actually, after the break. But in the meantime, you... Oh, excuse me, everybody. You represent... BWS on this occasion. You're part of what makes today special for them and for us, so thank you for what you do. I'm going now going to go through to, to tapes um, because... Don't oh, it's a squeeze. Isn't it? <laughs> but guys, when you think that's a squeeze, wait till you meet Scotty. Imagine Scotty, Scotty has to get in and out of here every day. Look at the size of this man. This is a, this is a, big, this is a big fella. Um, how long have you been with Nine? Uh, this is our 20th season on the tour, so yeah. 
tra traveling the country, getting every replay right, bringing us many options. You now operate with these EVS machines. Rowie here is, has got, th this gives you more options with digital um, facilities than you've ever had before. Yeah, that's right, we're able to fit more cameras into these machines, it's brilliant, brilliant stuff. And here's where we coordinate the replays and offer up the best replays for Rob, of course, to put to air and manage our uh, archive system that dates back so many years now. Yeah, so quite an extensive, extensive, extensive production here. Yeah. And, and how often do you get the best replay and then Rob not take it? Uh, not often, not often. We like to think that we, uh, you know, we get, we get the job right. We've got the best cameramen, so they supply us with the best shots, and uh, away we go from there. OK, thank you for that. Uh, just a little insight into what Nine does behind the scenes. Uh, enjoy BWS, and remember, enjoy it responsibly. See you after the break. It is absolutely massive. A very well-coordinated team operating some amazing technology with one aim, and that is to make you, the viewer, feel part of the action. This is what you see. <laughs> Running Mitchell Johnson catch, and as spider cam hovers above, we're almost celebrating with the Australians. Then, from a variety of angles, you can analyse just how good this catch really is. Then there's the extreme close-up, capturing the emotion of bowler Peter Siddle. There's even a shot from the heavens. What you don't see are the 30 cameras and more than 120 people working to make it feel like you were there, right there. And it's here that it all comes together. Control Central, one of several amazing trucks that travel the country and the focal point of Nine's incredible cricketing roadshow. It's quite mind-blowing when you go into the trucks these days to see all the real workers down there getting everything technology-wise up and running for a great coverage. Here it's all coordinated, which shots go to air, how to analyse a particular dismissal, whether it be using Nine Orbit, which combines many different camera shots to give you a 3D effect. Or maybe eagle eye to follow the path of a particular delivery to see whether a batsman's out or not out. Nine commentator Michael Slater is still in awe of the technology that's now being used in the coverage of cricket. Fascinating and the drive is to make the experience at home the best possible experience. It's all about the viewer having access to everything that's going on out in the middle, almost taking you out there. So it is exciting. And it doesn't matter how hot it is, the camera operators are always there making sure when it happens, you don't miss a thing. <laughs>